hand man. Are you ready? All right, no skates. And here we go. Listen to that two liter turbocharged GDI engine. This is something that gets your heart pumping. The Conor N cranks out a max power of 280 PS and a max torque of 40 kg force meter. With N grind shift, the max power is enhanced to 290 PS, maximizing driving fun. Thanks to improved tuning at high RPM, both acceleration and torque are available for longer, which means a longer and brighter grin on your face. As you know, N models shine in the corners. One of our core values when building N. The corner N is no different. To make sure it had the strength to handle performance driving, we made the body more rigid and reinforced the structure by improving body weld and at the same time adding forged wheels, aluminum lightweight knuckles and struttering structure. Everyone knows when carving corners, you want to break deep into the corner and also keep the balance of the car for a smoother exit. With a corner N, you can take cornering to the limit with not only N's total chassis feature, but also with a strong brake system. The high performance friction material of the brake pads, along with bigger front and rear disc, help maximize heat endurance. Now I know, you car friends are looking at those rims. And man, can you stop? Yes, they are 19 inch forged wheels, light, strong and track ready. Let's talk about the ELSD, our end corner carving differential, which minimizes understeer and creates that joyful corner carving feel. Our engineers tune it specifically for each end model to give precise feedback and driver connection. Especially for the corner end, we made sure to give it enough traction so you can drive it anywhere on track, picking up the kids or driving in slippery road conditions. End man, to the streets please. The corner end comes with the N Grin control system with its optimized drive modes, which offer relaxed daily driving in normal and dynamic track driving in end mode. In normal setting, you don't have a problem with your family sitting on the back seat. However, in N mode, the all new corner N completely transforms into a track machine. N man, I think our friend could use some help. How about we give him a ride? N man, please initiate the N grin control and deliver those pizzas as fast as possible before they get cold. Well done, my friend. That's definitely a wolf in disguise. Who knew SUVs could drive like this? Now that we've saved the day, let's talk about design. Hey everybody, my name's Simon Losby. I'm head of Hyundai Design. When, uh, when the Kona was launched back in 2017, it made quite a splash in the BSUV segment with its unique and unconventional style. Kona's youthful and adventurous spirit appealed to customers of all ages. And after years of anticipation, with a serious upgrade from N, the Kona N has finally arrived as a proper performance SUV for all driving enthusiasts. The main visual impact of the Kona N is the wide and powerful stance. This confident stance comes from the combination of body-colored fenders and 19-inch wheels that have wider track than the other wheel options. The body-colored fenders emphasize the rich volume of the muscular body whilst pushing the N-specific 19-inch forge wheels to all four corners and boosting its powerful visual aggression. On top of this, the Kona N looks ready to attack every road thanks to the aero-optimized performance details. In particular, the double wing roof spoiler with integrated N-specific triangular brake light 
which enhances downforce and completes a really eye-catching rear view. And the wide lower air intake dominates the front bumper with a shape inspired by an aeronautic fuselage. Not only does this look great, but it also helps to cool down the car when the brakes get hot. Another thing you don't want to miss in the Kona N design is its exclusive new awesome color called Sonic Blue. We kept the N's signature blue hue and developed the most optimized color for the SUV body type. The Kona N is the very first and at the moment the only N model that can wear this Sonic Blue. A special new signature color for you, our enthusiasts. Now you must also want to hear about the interior. Kona N's dynamic driving spirit seamlessly flows from the engine to the exterior and to the interior, of course. N-specific details, such as the steering wheel, seats, the shift knob, and metal pedals, set the tone for your driving mood. And the contrasting blue highlights against the black interior remind you of the Kona N's main mission, exhilaration. The overall goal was to make an intuitive and entertaining driving environment and to awaken your emotions. Because when driving in, you never just drive. Maybe Albert Biermann can elaborate a little bit further. Thank you, Simon. When it comes to the driver interface, we asked the high performance enthusiasts and came up with three key features to make your driving experience more thrilling than ever. First, are the customizable driving modes, which respond instantly. The second is the head-up display in N mode that features the four information stats drivers look at most. Just keep your eyes forward and it's all there. The third feature is the one-circle design of the digital cluster, which lets you glance quickly at all other information. It's so great to drive corner N. Maybe we can share this feeling with someone. Hey, N-Man, let her take the wheel. When some of the hardcore petrol head media say that the NDCT is more fun than the fantastic N manual transmission, our engineers must have created something really special. The 8-speed wet dual-clutch transmission of the corner N allows for faster shifting and increased acceleration. Combined with the displays and the intense feedback, the NDCT provides an immersive driving experience that's both exciting and entertaining, no matter what kind of driver you are. Even when enjoying the comfort of an automatic transmission, Kona N drivers don't have to miss out on the push feel of a manual shifting. With N power shift, the Kona N is enjoyable as ever. Pushing you forward and pulling you backward as your driver, you will never get bored. And man, let's make that grin even brighter. Now, that's what I'm talking about. The name N stands for Namyang, home to Hyundai Motor Company's global R&D headquarters in Korea since 1995. But N also stands for the Nürburgring, home to a European test center where the N models were further developed and tested. The close connection between Namyang and the Nürburgring created the foundation for N, the goal being to deliver driving enjoyment. Both locations play a crucial role in developing, testing, and perfecting the responsive handling and vigorous acceleration of our N models. The N logo also resembles the chicane of a racetrack, the tight N curve where the skills of the driver and the balance of the car are rigorously proven. This reflects that our end models are agile vehicles that are fun to drive and represent the ultimate driving experiences anywhere, including racetracks. When is an engineer finished? The answer is never. <laughs> because you can always make it better, always. My name is Tyrone Johnson. I'm the director for vehicle development here at HMCC, Hyundai Motor Europe Technical Center, responsible for all the Hyundai brand development here in Europe to customize the cars, adapt them for the European market. So here at HMCC, we have a dedicated N group that works only on N vehicles, future N products. And they begin with lots of virtual development, simulation work, 
to then help the designers that uh, are also in the end group that design the parts that have to go in the prototypes. And then once the prototypes are available, we have uh, suspension experts, we have tuning experts, we have tire and wheel people, we have control systems, ESC systems, traction control, launch control systems, brakes uh, systems. That all is contained within the end group itself. But at the rest of HMHC, we also have contributions from uh, NVH, also from brakes in other areas, some suspension contribution, and we can't forget the central uh, part of every car, the engine and the transmission, which is also uh, calibrated and developed here at HMHC. And then the first thing that customers always see is the car itself, and of course design, end design is also here at HMHC. So at Hyundai, we have a very robust development process throughout the years it takes to develop a new car, a new uh, platform, and N models follow that process also. What's unique about N is that we take the specific performance systems, the systems that are really geared to meeting their characteristics that we want to achieve in N, and we dive into these systems very, very deep and develop them just that little bit more to really maximize them, and a crucial part of that is the work that we do with the Nürburgring on the Nordschleife that really challenges the car and brings out all the errors that a car might have so that we can fix them uh, to get them really to the maximum level. We have to remember that Hyundai N was born out of participation in WRC, the World Rally Championship. And there's always a two-way relationship between motorsports and production cars. It's always a constant give and take with the elements of each type of car being used to improve the next. Everything we learn from motorsports is fed back into the R&D process, and we use these learnings for the next car in the end range or the next performance project. Uh, and what we look for is not necessarily the fastest car, because many brands uh, target only the highest performance. We're looking for fun to drive. We have a metric internally. Uh, instead of RPM, we use BPM, so beats per minute. How much the customer gets excited uh, driving the car, how much emotion, uh, the customer is able to give to the car to his driving uh, experience and that really is our main focus. The three pillars that we try to achieve are everyday sports car, a corner rascal and racetrack capability in the end products and uh, if the customer feels those three pillars while he's driving our cars then we've uh, been successful and that's what we uh, strive for. One of the things that we've added now is a new DCT eight-speed uh, transmission, which really adds a completely new character to the car um, from previous models. It includes also three modes, the power shift, the grin shift, and the track sense shift, uh, which really adds the complete N character to the cars. N brand being a performance car uh, is always a little bit of a special challenge to make the performance a little bit closer uh, to the limit. And so for an engineer, it's always a pleasure to be challenged in this way, uh, to find yet that little more improvement, that little bit more on the edge uh, of a performance car so that the customers can really feel the car on the road. And um, we test everything on the car right from the beginning. Uh, the engines, transmission, the uh, suspension systems, steering systems, those kinds of things. Depending on what's available in the first prototype, everything gets tested immediately. We have a very extensive, exhaustive testing program uh, that we have on each prototype phase uh, to make sure that we're really optimizing all the system. This is again about diving very deep into the various systems and optimizing them as much as possible. And this is really sort of an iterative pro process. If we optimize the suspension, then we have to adapt the steering. We change the steering, we have to adapt the suspension or maybe some other parts of the car, the wheels and tires of the car. It always uh, gets better and better and better as we go through the development process. And then we start over again in the next prototype phase, taking the knowledge from the previous phase. The next prototype phase may have some additional systems that the previous phase didn't have. And we begin again until we come to a final product and uh, if we don't meet that, then we have to keep working. For an end car, really everything is important. There's nothing that's not um, important. So the driver experience uh, really is a sum of many different uh, feelings and uh, performance levels of the car, including sound. Everything that the car does in terms of acceleration, steering, the corner carving, the rev matching, including the sound really influences how the customer is satisfied. So sound is really a very crucial part of the N character development. And we spend quite a bit of effort in making sure the sound is just right 
on uh, end vehicles because it contributes really to the uh, experience that the customer has in the car. The i30N was hugely successful. The i20N, early feedback that we're getting, will be equally as successful. But then there's a customer segment that wants a slightly different car, appreciates all the end characteristics that we've been able to achieve and deliver. But this customer wants a slightly different car with perhaps a little bit more roominess, or perhaps a little bit more entering and exiting the car, perhaps a higher uh, driving stance uh, than some of the others. And so the Kona really fits that uh, precisely. And so we will include all the things that we learned in I-30 and I-20 uh, into the Kona N, and uh, we're sure it will be equally successful. But Hyundai is a company that's well known for high technology products. So we really offer a lot of products across the full spectrum. And since N is uh, always technology driven, I'm sure we'll be part of the future technology also.